This is where we get into the deeper knowledge about certain symbols, such as the concave and the, uh, the, the, uh, the, concave and the, the straight line pentagram. Also, the spiral, or what's known as phi, or the spiral force. The interlacing triangles, also known as the Sri Yantra, the birthing pools, or basically the, the, what we call the incubation stations, the matrixes themselves. So this original symbolism had a lot to do with programming these matrices and programming these wombs. And you find a hidden smidgen of, of this being mentioned in the Sumerian text when it's noted that the MEs, as it was called, were heavily bitted over. There were wars over these MEs. Basically, the information to run matrices could give you the ability to create and, 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 uh, and sustain worlds. So this was in itself, in the universe, some of the highest levels of knowledge that could be sequestered by oneself or by one's group. So we'll first start off by just at least letting people see that the celestial body known as the galaxy is also you. But you have to look also to some of the life forms that are not exactly on the same level as we are, especially as sentience is concerned, but are in our reality, such as the dolphin, such as the monkey, such as the lion. And many people fail when it comes to giving an explanation to where these beings came from also, and even if they possess a level of sentience, which we know that they do. But the fact is to understand their origins also is to also see how we're entwined with them because their incarnations here are very similar to ours. That celestial bodies, which you generally see always drawn out in the shape of the animal, the ancestors drew them out in the shapes of animals, are mm -hmm. the soul energy that it takes to animate what was just known as a vessel, somewhat of a golem, somewhat of even an eidolon, in physical reality. So the ancient knowledge was drawing, in, in some tense attracting, and in some tense even trapping souls from the cosmos into physical bodies here on planetary systems or matrices, which there are a countless number of. So when you enter into this state, you become a seed in many tense. A seed to, obviously, the universe. You are a microcosmic universe yet to unfold, but unfolding gradually. That's what also equals our expansion. It equals us having a date with emancipating out of this womb, whether you call it death or die, meaning to split, or whatever you call it. We have a date with our activation and our progress into the next level, just like we were on a previous level, and that's so another thing that has to be, uh, be talked about is our metamorphosis process.